Yes, I did, Allison, because January marks the beginning of Human Trafficking Prevention Month. And along with extending their mission statement, ACASA placed 12 anti-human trafficking specialists across the state to help serve the community. Trafficking and sexual assault pretty much go hand in hand. The executive director of ACASA told me after seeing a need in the community in 2020, the organization decided to broaden its reach. We've come to realize that there are really no services in um, Arkansas that have been addressing specifically human trafficking the way that um, we feel like it needs to be addressed, especially with adults. Through a $6 million grant, the coalition picked 12 programs to place anti-human trafficking advocates. If someone reports, there would be someone available to help them with direct services, to, to help them move if they want to move, um, to provide you know, counseling, help in any way that we can so that they can um, move forward and heal from their trauma and get back into life. The specialists here at the Northwest Arkansas Center for Sexual Assault asked to stay off camera, but the director told me she joined the team in 2022. We found like a really open and welcoming response from the community about having this service here. Last year, the specialists spent time with different community organizations to spread awareness. She went out and did training with them about the services that we offer and how to access those. This year, during National Human Trafficking Prevention Month, she's doing it again. This month is reaching out to each of those individual organizations to come back and offer training, not just to the staff, but also to the individuals that may be utilizing their services. They really want to know about human trafficking and what it looks like in our area. And so that's a way that we've been able to really connect with people when sometimes we may have struggled um, before. January 11th is National Human Trafficking Awareness Day, so many people across the country will be wearing blue to commemorate the day. Live in Springdale, Katani Gooch, 4029 News.